Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around okay. his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch. Alright, let's do this. Immediately take damage. Hey, what's up? Vegan dolls, I like the name. How you guys doing tonight? I like this game because it's super laid back and you don't really have to focus all that much. I say that as I get hit. You guys can hear me, right? What's up, Adam? Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. I'm still like pretty new to like working with OBS through YouTube because it's a little bit different than doing it uh, for Twitch. What's up, Leonard? How you doing? COVID been pretty rough uh, for you guys this year. Veggie, bro. It always cracks me up the, the like random names that people have. I didn't do shit today. I like spent the entire day in bed, had a migraine, so I really just didn't want to do anything at all. Um, I play all kinds of games. Uh, right now I've been playing Cyberpunk and Breath of the Wild, just going through them. Uh, I had bought Breath of the Wild day one when the Switch came out, and I played through Did Two Divine Beast, and then I just got sidetracked with other crap at the time and uh, didn't go back to it until recently. But those are the two I'm playing right now. Um, play World of Warcraft. I took a break from WoW though. 
my sub just expired like two days ago. But uh, yeah, like, those are the ones that, that I'm kind of playing right now, but I prefer shooters. Um, and what was, there, there's a, a new one that's coming out by um, Square Enix. I was watching some people play on Twitch today, and that one looked kind of interesting. It reminded me of Destiny. I don't remember the name of that game though. I wasn't really paying attention. What kind of games do you guys play? Fortnite. I, I never got into it. Uh, for whatever reason, the, the building threw me off. Because uh, before that, I, I played PUBG, and then before that, I was into H1Z1 quite a bit. And those games are very different than Fortnite. And uh, I, I tried playing Fortnite literally like two times, and I, I couldn't get the hang of the building, so I just kind of threw in the towel. Just not my style of gameplay. How old are you? Nice. Honestly, I haven't played racing games in so long. Um, I remember back in the day when I first got my Nintendo 64, I played NASCAR 98 a ton. And then like every time a new NASCAR game came out, I would play it. And then uh, a lot of Need for Speed games whenever I was in uh, high school and middle school. But I haven't really played them since I graduated, but now that I think about it, and that's been what, 15, 16 years now. It's been a long time. I, I enjoy uh, racing games. I, I should probably check some of them out. I know there's a couple on... Uh, oh, what the hell is it? On, like, the, the um, Xbox Game Pass. There's several on there. What was in here? Oh, nothing. No, that's dog shit. I don't want a guillotine. Or spill milk. Yeah, Need for Speed games were amazing back in the day. My high school didn't appreciate it, but uh, a bunch of us got together and we actually installed Need for Speed on the uh, school servers back then. And like, this is back in like 2002, 2003 in that ballpark. And uh, we would just play Need for Speed on LAN. It would never fly today uh, if kids tried to install shit on, on a uh, school server. You get in a lot of trouble for that. Yeah, they're blue switches. Are, are they super loud? I can like, tilt this. Oh shit. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> if I can rotate this up. Uh, I don't know.
Yeah, so they, they are blue switches, um, but they're they're dampened. So I've got um, O rings on them to kind of mute the sound a little bit, and then uh, like the the mic isn't pointing directly down on the uh, switches at least, so it should help a little bit. That's a really good first shot. Hmm. I'll have to come back to that. I probably should stop looking at chat when I'm doing a boss fight. I almost got hit right there. Oh, I'm gonna regret doing this. Nope, never mind. It was actually good. I kind of don't want to take this, and the reason why is um, I want to stay at two hearts because it'll be easier to use the uh, the machine in the other room. The sacrificial dagger is really good. Oh, I can go back and get it. Never mind. I might do that. killed myself there. Wasn't paying attention. Uh, let me see. Favorite show as a kid was uh, Gummy Bears. I don't know if you've ever uh, heard the theme song for them or had uh, watched the show when you were a kid, but Gummy Bears was by far my favorite. Um, that and probably, I don't know, probably Power Rangers or Ninja Turtles or something like that. of health there. Damn, there's a couple of you guys hopping in here. Popular subliminals, I like that. Good name. Drake and Josh. I never really got into... Th that was a Nintendo show, right? I never really got into any of the um, like, like teen drama shows, I guess, on on Nintendo and Nick at Night and stuff like that. Favorite YouTuber, damn. That's a good question. Honestly, well, I don't know if I would consider it my favorite YouTuber, but my favorite thing to watch on YouTube is, it's it's normally on uh, like Saturday mornings, and it's a uh, podcast with Alana Pierce, um, Austin Winery, God, I, f I feel bad because I can't remember them all, Troy Baker, and Mike Bithell. Um, play, watch, listen is what it's called, but it's it's a great podcast. That's what I normally watch on Saturday mornings uh, when I'm kind of starting my day for work. Yeah, I'd probably say that. Um, I watch a lot of tech channels. Um, shit, I, uh, God, let me see. I guess the one channel that I watch more than anything these days is probably um, Chris Stuckman. I like watching his uh, movie reviews. And uh, Jeff... Uh, what the hell is it? Jeremy Johns. Yeah, well, David Dobrik's one that's kind of on the fence right now, huh? Because all the drama going on. What's up, Turkish? I, I won't judge the guy, honestly, because I, I don't know enough about the situation to really say anything. Um, but from my understanding... It, it could be pretty bad. Yeah. Honestly, that's the thing that I hate um, about these days is there's no real middle ground. Um, people just kind of jump on, on uh, whatever is popular and if that means hating on somebody then they hate on them and 
things don't really go to court these days anymore um, before people go nuts. It's just cool to, to like be mean to people, which I don't agree with. I guess I'll buy this. Yeah, I watch a lot of Linus Tech Tips and, and all his other various ones. Um, Carpool Critics, I watch a lot. Honestly, um, yes and no. So whenever it comes to streaming, uh, I don't like having to like have a schedule. I'm, I'm somebody who is very sporadic just because I've got like a bunch of health issues. And for me, having to go and like set certain schedules is just not easy for me a lot of times. So I'd rather not. But outside of that, um, I enjoy it. I enjoy the interaction between people. I don't think I've ever watched uh, Nelix or Nelk or whatever. I've, I don't think I've ever heard of them. Yeah, I, I watch a lot of uh, Linus. Um, obviously, like all the tech tubers. I, I guess the main ones would be like Bitwit, um, Paul's Hardware, and uh, Jay. Bad gas, that was a waste. So where's everyone um, that's in chat right now? Where are you guys from? I thought I bought this before. New Jersey? Never been that far off. I, I lived in North Carolina for 14 years, but I've never been to like New York, New Jersey in that area. So much money. Okay. Why do you want to move to LA? As somebody who was born in California, like it, it confuses me why people want to move there. <laughs> yeah, you you guys are like seven hours ahead of me if I remember right. So it's what like three a.m. 3.30 or something like that? I'm not sure how close I am. Yeah, I was born in Stockton, California myself. And I, I would never move back to California. It's, it's too chaotic there for me. I prefer smaller towns. Okay, yeah, you're Eastern Standard. Two hours ahead of me. And then the, the guy in the UK, I think, is like seven hours. Seven or eight ahead of me. I'm going to buy this. Oh, I probably should not have. Let me see. All these are going to turn into pills now. These are all one makes you small pills. I guess I can be super tiny and just look weird. What's this range up? I'm almost as tiny as the spiders here. It's great. I'll touch this just to get it out of the item pool. Is there a battery? No. 
shit, I messed up. I had a uh, diamonds card, which doubles the money that you have. And I didn't use it before uh, converting all those cards into pills. This wasn't paying attention. This is a really strong combination. You just trade health for uh, for money nonstop. Machine should break. I don't know if that'll give me a chart, so I don't want to pick it up just yet. Hmm. All these spiders all over the place. Yeah, I'll, I'll be around Sunday. Um, and then I have Monday and Tuesday off this week. Normally I work those days. But I'll, I'll probably be streaming at least one of those. Maybe both. Why can't you sleep? You just can't turn your, your mind off? Or, or what? what's going on? How this works? Oh, it's a it's a two charge. That makes sense. Finally. Now I don't have to keep running back to this room, I can just stay in the other room. There's so many spiders here. I probably should have made myself so small here. Makes it very difficult to see your character. Yeah, I figured it was gonna break soon. Buy all this. Yeah, I think I'm done here. It was a pretty good, uh, First floor, or was that first floor or second? That was second floor. I don't know why I bombed that. There's no way that that could be a, a secret room. I'll bomb all the rocks though. Character's so tiny right now, it's, it's difficult to see him. I'm surprised that was a super seeker room. Explosive diarrhea. I think this is the regular secret room. What phone do I have? I have an iPhone. Um, iPhone 11 Pro Max.
I've never really been fond of Androids. I, I know a lot of people uh, have their preferences, and some like iPhones, some like uh, Androids, and I've used both. It's just, for me, not having to worry about like security at all on my phone is big, especially working in IT. So it's just kind of a peace of mind on my side. And then also, um, it's just easy to use. I, I don't really do anything crazy on my phone. I don't really play any games on it. I just use it as a phone for the most part and scroll on Facebook. Shit, I meant to dodge that. So all these spiders, um, let me see if you can see the item for it. So if you look on the screen where it says my stuff, down at the bottom right, it's got like a little spider with a heart above it. Um, I don't remember the name of that one, but basically uh, what happens is anytime I take damage, it generates a spider. And then those spiders help me kill enemies. So what happened is since I have this blood bag and I was tapping a blood machine, I was taking a lot of damage. And for every time I took damage, a spider spawned. Which is really strong. Um, I'm going to be honest. Whenever it comes to upgrading, um, that's really up to you. But I, I would probably hold off in that situation. And the reason why is every year um, Apple puts out a new phone. And they do it right around November every year. They normally have their keynote in like September or October. And then they put their new phone out in, in November. So I don't recommend actually buying a new phone now if you're gonna buy one i would wait until when they launch the new new uh, series of phones because the the 12 series is going to go down in price at that time or we can just go to like whatever the next one is like 13 or whatever the hell they want to name that one um also whenever it comes to 5g you may not even have a carrier that supports 5g or you may be in an area that that's not very good for 5g but overall like 5g is really just not worth it at the moment So if that's the reason why you're looking to upgrade, I would probably hold off. Oh, uh, let me see. How many heart? Oh, I did get the sacrificial dagger. Okay. Now these spiders are gonna get really big. At least I thought. I thought that the BFF made them bigger. I'm wrong. I just severely broke the game with this combination here. Range up. Range, Range up. Range up. The magician. Yeah, right now, I was actually under the same situation as you. Um, I was looking at upgrading. I have, like I said, the, the 11 Pro Max. I was looking to get the 12 Pro Max. And just after we're reading into to, uh, 5G, yes. I just don't think it's worth it at this time. Damn, that broke way sooner than I was hoping for. Look at all the money. Like, I essentially have inf infinite money at this point. As long as I can find health. What was this one? Oh, bombs are key. Oh, shit. I thought I was in a different position than that. It's so hard to see my character. I have, I have some. Well, okay. Are, are the AirPod, yeah, the AirPod Max are the the actual like headphones, right? I have the um, AirPod Pros, and I love them. 
I don't use them as much anymore because I don't, I don't go outside very often. <laughs> I'm like kind of a hermit these days. Something is wrong. Balls of steel. I imagine that they sound pretty good, though. Uh, I know Linus did a, a, a review of them. much money. I'm going to be at max money before I even leave this floor. Uh, I'm on a 165 hertz monitor. Actually, here. I showed this um, yesterday. This is my setup right now. And I, actually, I just recently, um, like three days ago, I mounted my PCs underneath. So this is my work computer. This is my personal computer, work laptop, or, and then personal laptop. This monitor and my Nintendo Switch are connected to this monitor. And then all three of these are connected for work, and these two are connected for personal. And the, uh, the two monitors on the right are 1440p, 165 hertz. Oh yeah, I thought this was a tinted rock. Nice. It's a bit overkill, but I like it. It doesn't do anything for this game, because this game only runs at 60 hertz. Yeah, honestly, anything over 144 I feel like is overkill. Um, the only exception is somebody who's playing... Um, Jesus, CSGO. CSGO, um, the, they could use a, a higher refresh monitor. But honestly, I, I don't think that they're going to see much of a difference on anything over like 140. At this point, it's it's one of those situations where um, developers are like, "Oh, let's let's just see how high we can go," and people will buy it because the number is higher. There's no real benefit. I mean, I'm sure there is a, like some noticeable benefit, but there, there's there's got to be like a oh, what the hell is it called? Diminishing effect. Honestly, I want it. I, I would just turn up the graphics so that you have like better visuals <laughs> and and deal with the lower frame rate. What, what games do you play that give you that high of frame rate? Because um, the only thing that I play frequently that gives that high would be like League of Legends. What's up, Isaac? Gary's mod? Gary's mod's fun. Haven't played it in years, but it's still a fun game. Hematemesis. That has a lot of potential. Thanks. How 
How you doing tonight? I guess it's a perk to me being so small. I can dodge quite a bit. So much health. I guess I'll bomb this. That's really strong. What's up, Saul? You were here last night, weren't you? I almost got a PS5 this morning. I was so close. Um, let me see real quick. There's a, um, a subreddit that I go on, which is uh, Build a PC Cells, and they listed it on there, and I, I literally got there like two minutes too late. Otherwise, I would have been able to buy a uh, PS5. I was so close to getting one. This is such a good run. Hey, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. Get some sleep. I never really got into the Call of Duty games. They just weren't my style of shooters. Like, I, I don't mind the, the campaigns for them, but when it comes to the, uh, the multiplayer, it just wasn't my thing. I don't like games where you can die super fast. I, I guess the exception to that would be PUBG. Like, it doesn't bother me in that game. But most other games, it does bother me. Hopefully it lets me feed every single bit of my money. Nope. Oh well. How you doing tonight, Saul? Oh shit, I just walked right over those spikes. That's what's, what's difficult about me being so tiny. I can't even see my character half the time. I just kind of follow where the shots are coming from. Can't reach that, that sucks. Doing okay. I had a migraine most of the day, so I just stayed in bed and slept. So I, I just woke up a couple hours ago. Still kind of have a migraine right now, but it's it's not that bad. It's lighting them up enough to where I can function. I think I just slept weird last night. Or it could be sinuses, because allergies are shit right now. Surprised that wasn't a uh, secret room right there. Oh, I guess no, it can't be. 
there, there's like very unique rules to how secret rooms work in this game. And basically, um, the reason why it couldn't be in that room that was above this one is there was a rock here that blocked the entrance. Yeah, honestly, I, I have migraines all the time, so I'm, I'm just kind of used to them at this point. Um, but like right now, it's it's tolerable. I, I can deal with it. I have an insane amount of damage right now. It doesn't look like it, because if you look on the, the left, it says I only have 9.4 damage. But because I'm firing so quickly and I have these, like, um, chain lightning tiers, they, they do a lot of damage. Something's wrong. Range up. Range. I can see forever. Yes. Floor is this. Necropolis 1. So the reason why I checked what floor I was on, if I was on Necropolis 2, I would not want to go in the boss room. Um, if you go in there, you will fight Mom, and then you can't leave the floor, or, um, you, you can't leave the room, so you can't do anything else on the floor. So it's super important for me to uh, like not screw myself over there. I'm having such a hard time seeing my character. Jeez, pay out already. And then he paid out with something I didn't want. Oh, I didn't know I had the full health pill on me. I would have used that instead. decide what I want to do right now. I guess there's a second full health pill. Those are both good. What's up, uh, EC17? How you doing? a lot of money that just dropped in that room. same uh, monsters from Legend of Zelda. The hands that drop from the ceiling. Doing pretty good. I was just telling him that I had a migraine most of the day, but it's, it's subsiding now. Hopefully it's gone by tomorrow because I work early in the morning. Another steam cell, please? Wow, okay. Well, money doesn't matter now. Because everything in the shop is free. What I'm looking for is a uh, restock. It, it basically makes it to where anytime I take something from the shop, it just refills it immediately. Um, 
Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of new to streaming, so there's not in particular one game that I, I stream a lot. Um, I do, I've been wanting to go back to PUBG, because honestly, that's the game that, that I really enjoy the most. But I, I haven't found a shooter that I, I enjoyed as much as PUBG, and I just took a, a break from it. So that's pretty much the only one that I know of that I'm, I'm like super interested in right now. PUBG, and then I guess when Halo comes out, I'll, I'll be streaming it. I should stop running into enemies. What kind of games do you like? C17? there's anything else in here. Oh, I mean, I guess I can eat all that. Yeah, when it comes to streaming, I'm, I'm not really picky on what I play. Right now, I'm going through Cyberpunk and Breath of the Wild, though. And then the Binding of Isaac, I'm just kind of playing because it, the expansion for it comes out later. I guess it's next month. March 31st is when it comes out. So I am interested in, in playing through that. So I'll be playing a lot of Isaac at that point. Until I get 100% completion, at least. Power pill. Cool. Yeah, I just, I never really got into those games for some reason. I, I'm not really sure why. Like, I, the only sports game that I really got into was the old ones on the, uh, like, Super Nintendo. Um, I, I, I'd like to say there was a Space Jam video game that I played at one point, like a basketball game. And then I played a lot of like NFL Blitz, but I never got into the regular um, like NFL games, Madden games. I played them whenever I was in foster care, but that was mostly because that's what everyone else played. I downloaded Warzone, I just haven't taken the time to play it. Everything I've seen from that game so far I haven't really enjoyed because it's much faster paced than I prefer. But I, I think I'd still like it if I was playing with other people. And I'm just naturally good at shooters. What would you say is your favorite video game? Damn, this guy just wants all my money, huh? Normally they pay out pretty quickly. No, get away. I didn't want him to accidentally blow up. I've ever paid this money into one of these beggars before. I've paid 50 cents into them now. And they normally pay out within 10 cents. What's up, Keegan? How's your night so far? Or I guess depending on where you are in, in the world, it could be earlier in the day.
Nice. Yeah, I, I competed in a few uh, like semi-pro Halo tournaments back in the day, and then I competed in Rock Band. But I never really got into it for sports games. And then you can't really count it, but I used to kick the shit out of all my friends in Goldeneye. And Halo. Have you won any tournaments, or you just played in them, or, or what? if I went in here or not. I did. I think the other item was more fun, but... I went with this one. Should, should be my, uh, considered like mild cheating, right? Letting pros play. I used to compete in chess tournaments as well. Like whenever I was a kid. Um, like mostly in, in uh, middle school. I played a lot of chess. I've actually been thinking about getting back into it since it's blown up so much on Twitch lately. I'm sure I'd be super rusty, but yeah, I, I played a lot of chess back in the day and then uh, also played a lot of uh, poker. Not so much um, like table games, but a lot of online poker. Wow, I'm going straight to the void. Do I? Yeah, okay, I need that. I think I might go there. I have a really strong build. Hmm. I'm gonna be bummed out if I don't get a void portal and I waste it right now. Because this is a build that I can easily go to the void with. Damn. I'm not gonna do it. Because I don't know if I can... So the the void, the little portal there, that takes you to the final boss of the game. And this early on, I, I barely unlocked anything. So some of the really strong combinations aren't available to me. And, and this combination is pretty strong. Um, I'm, I'm fairly confident that I could win with this build. But I'd like to unlock some of the easier stuff first. And there's a chance that whenever I beat other bosses in this game, uh, a portal to that boss can open back up. So I just decided to hold off. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh, nope. I didn't mean to blow him up either. Wait, how am I flying? I don't know what gave me flight. It must have been a Devil Dill item that did it. Yeah, I never really got big on blackjack. It's just for me that the the, uh, the amount of thought that goes into playing poker was a lot of fun, and I'd be too tempted to count cards if I was playing blackjack.
I, I lived in Nevada for like five years, and the entire time I was there, I, I never really played table games. I, I played a couple here and there, but I wasn't super interested in it. Um, most of what I did was online. Look how tiny I am. I'm actually smaller, uh, smaller than the flies now. I should go up and get that health. I mean, it's actually completely legal to count cards. It's more that casinos frown upon it, and they, they can kind of do whatever the hell they want to you, because you're, you know, it's their rules when you're in there. But there's no actual law saying you can't count cards. trash items. Oh, I didn't see the, uh, the guppy's head there. That's a good item. Which is arguably better than the one I'm using. Not really. I haven't played Overwatch in quite a while. It's a fun game, but it's the type of game that I would enjoy more if I was playing with friends. And all the friends that I was playing with at the time quit playing Overwatch, so I stopped playing. I tried playing Hearthstone as well, and I just never really got into it. I feel like Hearthstone is one of those games that you have to dump a ton of money into in order to actually be good. Yeah, uh, and like I said, it's not illegal, it's more just the casinos frown upon it, and you don't want to piss off the casinos. Oh shit, I, I thought I was far enough away. So right now I'm bombing these because they can uh, turn into items. Like, uh, different types of rocks can turn into items, and, and so can uh, mushrooms. They can turn into, like, skinny odd mushroom, big odd mushroom, and magic mushroom. Hematemesis? Pointless. Hematemesis. This will drop that, and then turn them all into this. They're really low on health, I should be more careful. I'm not gonna take that. I already spawned an absurd amount of flies. What's up, Dyson? How you doing? Yeah, I, I, I remember seeing a comment from you. Was it ye yesterday or today or something like that? I know it was really recent. Oof, I almost took damage there. Thanks. Life definitely could be worse, that's for sure.
So for me, um, like I said, it's, it's a bit of a weird situation um, because of the hormone issue that I have. But for me, uh, God, when was it? It was, it was probably like six months after I graduated. I was uh, like 5'4 until I graduated, and then I shot up to 6'3. Which is a pretty hefty growth spurt. And honestly, like, y you may be stuck at 5'6. Like, you may not grow anymore. Uh, just what life is, unfortunately. Kind of stuck with what your, your body gives you. Now, in a lot of situations, I would rather be shorter. I've actually knocked myself out hitting my head. Uh, middle school, I honestly don't remember. I don't remember how tall I was. I, I was always really short. Actually, I wonder... Let me see if I can find uh, this photo real quick. I'm trying to find a photo that uh, one of my old friends sent me. Okay, so this is one. Let me... I pulled it up on my phone. I'll, I'll pull it up on my computer, though. Um, let me see, where is Melissa at? It's not the one that I was thinking of, but it's still like a, a photo of me. This was, let me see, save it real quick, save, desktop. So this was me in high school. This is actually senior year. I was just sitting in my cafeteria eating a bagel. But that's, like, I look super, super young there. I, I don't, like, honestly, looking at it, I don't think I looked much older than, like, 12 years old in that photo. So I was, I was a tiny guy back then. But that was uh, senior year. Um, no, so I, I deal with really severe muscle spasms. Uh, I have a treadmill in my living room, but I ended up really fucking up my leg back in, was it August or, I think it was August. August or September, I, uh, I have a bad leg cramp, and I basically woke up, stretched my leg, and whenever I did it, I, uh, I tore two muscles in my left leg, so I haven't really done much exercising since then. But I have, like I said, I have really severe muscle cramps, and even just walking out to the car sometimes will, will give me a cramp. So it's kind of difficult to, like, go to the gym. I'm going to clear this floor and try to get more health. Let's see. But I've got a treadmill here. I was, I was running on it, but, like, that's not going to give me muscle tone. I do have, like, the proper, I guess, build for, like, being a really bulky guy. Because i got super broad shoulders and just, like, decent traps, too, to begin with. Um, so, so the way it works is testosterone actually tells your body to stop growing initially. The, the, uh, the increase in testosterone from puberty, it actually like tells your body to stop growing. So for me, I never had that. So my growth plates didn't close at a proper time, and that's why I'm so tall. If I would have went through puberty at a normal age, I probably would have been like 5'10", like my brother. Uh, where are you from, noob?
I, I know like a lot of people in the UK are pretty short. But honestly, I, I would much rather be short than tall. Like when I lived in um, Missouri, I, I uh, like lived in a downstairs basement with my old roommate because um, they had like an unfinished basement down there and that's where I would stay. And there was some duct work in one of the rooms. And I remember one morning I got up to use the bathroom and didn't turn the light on. And I literally like hit a pipe in the basement so damn hard I knocked myself out cold. And several times walking down the stairs, um, there was a, like a wooden plank or whatever that, that would kind of hang a little low. And I hit my head on that a couple times and uh, kind of gave me some blurry vision. I mean, women obviously like taller guys, but there's, there's people that like shorter people too. I think it's just a, a stereotype. Ah, Philippines. That actually makes sense. Like a lot of Eastern, Euro uh, Eastern European people are, uh, are a bit shorter. It's it's not like abnormal at all. and stuff like that too. This is the Binding of Isaac. I don't know if this was a good idea for me to take technology. I think the other build that I had was actually better because it, it just, like this canceled out my strongest attack which was Jacob's Ladder. I think I just screwed myself by taking that item. Not that this one's completely terrible but I'm obviously doing way less damage now. I just took that without thinking. Yeah, see, like it, with my other build, these guys would have already been dead. I screwed myself over. I think I can still, like, win this match. But, uh, yeah, I definitely messed up. Oh, well. Oh, PC. Always PC whenever it comes to shooters. The only exception to that is Halo. And since Halo is going to be out on PC, I'll, I'll be playing Halo on PC for sure. There's just a, a huge advantage of using a keyboard and mouse versus a controller. But I guess, um, I'm trying to think, wasn't it Fortnite that, that did it first, where they had to, like, cross-platform? I know people were complaining because they were pitting uh, people on console against PC players, and the aim assist from a controller was just insane. Maybe that was, um, Call of Duty. But I know one of them, um, it was pissing people off that the aim assist was too good for controllers. Thanks. Um, it, it took a lot of work. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, it took a lot of work over the years. I used to be extremely shy and uh, I don't know if I want that. I'm going to take it. It's really risky. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have taken that. But hey, what like not playing risky is not fun. Play a horror game? 
Um, I could play Resident Evil. Maybe I'll play Resident Evil on Sunday because I do want to restart that game. Like either RE2 or RE3. Um, I don't, I don't think I ever bought 7 on my PC. I could play uh, 7 in VR on my uh, my PlayStation. But the, the problem with VR is, I, I don't know why, but it disorients me really bad. And if I'm not sitting down playing VR, I lose my balance and like will fall over. I suck at Rocket League. Um, I tried playing it, and I was going through the tutorials, and I just didn't understand the tutorials. I think Rocket League is a really great game with a huge skill gap. I am from the U.S. Uh, I live in Boise, Idaho. Let me see. What, what items do I have in Steam that are horror-related? I can obviously buy more. Like, that that's not a problem. Sorry, I couldn't quite hear you. Could you uh, please repeat what you said? Apparently Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Yeah, those are the only ones in here that I have. Like, I have a bunch of horror games on console, which I love horror. But, uh, I'd probably play Resident Evil 2. Because it's just a, a great game. Although, I don't know if I would really consider that horror at this point. Um, especially in, like, the first half of the game, because I know it so well. I never beat, beat Resident Evil 2 on, uh, like, like, Resident Evil 2 Remake. I never beat it. How am I shooting quad shot? Oh, that's because of the, uh, the $3 bill. This isn't so bad now. I'm actually doing pretty good damage. Yeah, Rocket League, um, I, I, I really didn't give it a fair chance, to be honest. One of my uh, old high school buddies is, uh, like, he streams on Twitch, and he's been playing a lot of Rocket League lately. I'm sure if I wanted to hop into his games, he'd let me play with him, and I, I could learn how to play, but it's just one of those games that has such a high ceiling for skill. I, I don't know, like, how long it would take me to actually get good at it. This guy's just melting. What the fuck? He's teleported right onto me. Eh, whatever. Nope, no portal. I should have taken the portal that was available to me earlier. Yeah, so I bought Resident Evil Day 1 when it first came out. I haven't tried Minecraft speedruns. I do enjoy Minecraft, though. When I was doing Apple Tech Support, we actually had a... Uh, we didn't exit out of that because it was loud. Um, we actually had a server set up on uh, on like the, the Tech Support's uh, server there at work. And we, we would just screw around in Minecraft all day if we weren't busy. Give me one second, actually. I gotta put some stuff in the fridge. I forgot I had it out. My cat's trying to figure out what the hell I'm actually doing right now. It's not used to me just randomly talking. New update for what? For Minecraft or for GTA?
I just went through Doom and Doom Eternal before the, uh, like playing these games. Actually, I think I'm done with Isaac. I think I might play some Cyberpunk or something, or maybe some Legend of Zelda for a bit. But if I do Zelda, it'll it'll take me a minute to get it sorted out. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't mind meeting people, honestly. What did the new update add for Minecraft? I guess I'll actually just play another game. I need to play a character that I need to actually unlock stuff on, though. I guess I can play Apollyon. Brawlster game? No, what is that? Have you seen um, Minecraft with RTX on? It looks insane. I still remember the first time I played Minecraft. I had no idea what I was doing. And I, I must have died like two or three times in the first hour alone. This character is kind of unique. Um, he has the the void, which is the item up in the top left. And what happens is, is when he uses that, any item that's in the room he'll eat. And if it's an item that you can only activate that, that like does something, um, it takes the effect and it saves it. And then it, it kind of stacks with other items, so you can actually have like multiple effects that stack. And then if it's a static item, that's normally just like some type of type um, of like damage increase or add some kind of weird tier effect, it uh, will just eat the item and give you a random stat up. So it is pretty interesting in that sense. It's very different from every other character. Yeah, it's still blocky. You, you can't really fix that, but it surprised me. Um, the, the one game I was looking forward to a lot that got cancelled was um, EverQuest Next. Because I, I was a big EverQuest 2 player. And EverQuest Next, I don't know if you know anything about it, but it basically was Minecraft, but like a realistic version of Minecraft. It just sucked to see that go away. Oh shit, I didn't, I, I messed up that bomb. The bomb should have been next to that machine so it could have blown it up. My PC specs? See ya, Dyson. Uh, I, I have two, well, I guess technically several computers, but my main computer, what the hell, it keeps teleporting me. My main computer is a Ryzen 5 3600X uh, with a 2080 Ti, and then my laptop, um, I think it's like a 10400, um, like i5 10400. And then the uh, GPU on that is a RTX 2060. Only 16 gigs of RAM, just because I, I don't really need any more than that. Going up to 32 is not going to really give me much of a performance increase. And then uh, 2080 Ti. It's a... God, I don't remember. EVGA something. But I, I ended up buying the hybrid kit for it. Um, maybe it was the for, for the Win. I can't remember. For the Win 3. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a really, really good PC. Um... I guess you weren't here earlier whenever I showed it. Let me get this pulled up real quick. This is my actual setup right now. Um, so this this one on the bottom, that is my personal PC. This is my work PC, my personal laptop, work laptop. 
and then 1440p 165 hertz 1440p and 165, just a 1080 monitor, and then 55 inch 4K TV above on a sit stand desk. Oh, no, don't hit me. That came so close to hitting me. Here, bomb this for me, please. Please? Come here. Bomb this. Oh shit. Up here? I mean, I guess that'll work. Here, we'll use this up here. And then I'll eat both of these. Which is probably not the best idea. Like, eating that, that means every time I use this item it's gonna drop a bomb, so I just have to remember that. Nice. Um, yeah, I've got a, a PS4 Pro, but I, I never play it anymore. I don't remember the last time I turned it on. I really should play that more. If I knew that I could get a PS5, I, I would just sell it right now. Sell it in a big bundle for cheap, because um, I have the, the PS4 VR headset and everything as well. And I would just sell it to somebody for cheap, and then uh, get the, the new VR headset that's coming out. Ted Possum, thanks. I like your name. <laughs> are you just playing dead, or are you actually dead? Yeah, I almost had one today. Um, I was super close to getting it. Best Buy had them in stock. And the way that their website works is that you could... <sighs> Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if they still have it going on. No, it just says sold out right now. So basically on their website, it would say add to cart. If you click add to cart, then it would change the text and it would say that, that like I'm in a queue to get one. And every few minutes they're going to release more, and basically you would just add it to the card if it ever lit up. And uh, I, I literally got there like two or three minutes too late, and it actually showed me add to cart, um, like finally. And whenever I added it, they had just sold out on their website. But I'll, I'll buy one whenever I, I see it available. I'm not really rushed to get it. Um, so really, there's not that many games I want to play. It's mostly like that I want to go back and play God of War with, with better graphic settings. Dead inside. <laughs> oh shit, that's a lot of flies. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. I, I should have. So the reason why I don't want to get hit, like, taking damage in general in games is bad, obviously. But in this game, it's really punishing. Um, so right now, I only have red hearts. I don't have any black hearts or blue hearts. And if you look in the bottom left, it says I have a 100% chance of getting a double deal. If I get hit right now, that drops down to 30%. I think it's actually like 33. So I don't want to get hit for that sole reason, that I want to keep the double deal. Have you played the new one on PS4? Did I go to the item room? Yeah, I got glitter bombs from the item room. This boss sucks.
I actually have to focus on this boss because it's so easy to take accidental damage on him. I should have eaten that. That item's not very good. These are good though. Although I don't want to use... Oh man, this is kind of a hard decision. if I want to do this. I mean, I, I guess I'll take it. It, it sucks because I really don't want to do this. Yeah, that overall that was a bad play. And then I'll eat that. Wait, oh my god, I just died. That's the second death I've had on this. And the reason why is I told myself to remember to drop the um, that I drop a bomb every time I use it and I forgot about that. I picked up the, the dead cat, which gives me nine lives, but before it could give me the nine lives, I died. God of, like, the new God of War is one of the best games ever created. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually done with this. I don't want to play this right now. I'm irritated that I died. <laughs> Where, let me go back to Cyberpunk. Yeah, I, I, I still stream on Twitch. It's just, I, I decided to hop over here because I didn't really have my Twitch channel shown on, on my YouTube channel anywhere. Like, there was nothing that was linking to it, I, which I didn't realize. Um, I know in some of the older videos I'd mentioned it, but that was about it. And uh, I just decided to stream over here because I knew that a lot of people had questions and stuff and wanted to, to talk. It's not really about money for me. I, I just kind of want to hang out. I'm going to play games anyway, so I may as well turn the stream on. And if people want to talk, they can come in and talk. There's no harm in that. Yeah, Ragnarok's probably going to be delayed, but that's a good thing. I, I honestly, um, this is, <laughs> ironically, a really, really good example of why games should be delayed. Um... I love Cyberpunk. It's a great game, but it has a lot of flaws. And if they would have delayed this another six months, like, people would have been pissed, but this could have been a much, much better game. And I'm sure, you know, six months from now, they'll, they'll add a bunch of patches and possibly some DLC, and people will be happy. But in its current state, even right now, it's got a lot of bugs. But yeah, the, the new God of War is, is one of my favorite games ever. Um, it's definitely my favorite God of War game. Yeah, more plates, more dates. Um, he's, he's good. Honestly, whenever I had, uh, first, like, seen that, that he had done the video, I, I was a little bit thrown off. And the reason why is, is most of the time whenever people do, um, some kind of coverage of, of me being on the Doctors, it's normally in a bad way. Um, most, and when I say bad way, um, they, they kind of do it just for like clickbait. Yeah, oh no, don't buy it on console, hell no. Like PS5, it's not that bad. Stadia, it's really good. And then on PC, if you have a decent system, it's good. Yeah, don't be sorry, be better. What is this? Isn't that where Skippy normally is? What's going on here? It's acting like there's a mission here. Suits. Why is it you looking at? Nothing to see here. Move along. Dude, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm actually not okay with you guys being an asshole right now. Were they actually cops? Because that should have made cops come after me there. Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. This gun's so broken. Look at this. I'll, I'll shoot the wall with it. It shoots four shots in a really tight cluster. 
Thank you. Were you sent by the company? Wrong answer. Then Oops. hold on. I didn't mean to skip that. What do you want from me? Eddie's? <laughs> I can't say it because I don't have high enough cool. The truth. What did they want from you? I have no idea. They said something about some slut and a virtue. These guys aren't what actually I dead. Have, what I had to do with it. They started beating on me so hard, they thought I'd die. Ah, this city's really going down the drain. For the police to do this in plain sight for no reason. I like the oh, fact that there's here. a cop on fire in front of him, literally right next to his foot, and he doesn't like even move. For nothing in return. Nothing. I, I don't, I don't believe you. You saved me just like that because you felt like it. Don't measure others by your own yardstick, prick. I feel like this guy is gonna pay off in some way in the future. Um, GTA by far. I don't know if they're even working. Well, I mean, they, they said that they're working on, on GTA 6, but I feel like they just don't have any incentive. They've made so much fucking money off GTA 5, they could continue putting out GTA 5 all the way into, like, the, the additional next-gen consoles. Do each anime. What, what do you mean? Oh, do you watch anime? Um, not really. I recently started watching um, oh. Death Note. But I, I ran through Death Note. I tried watching The Last Airbender recently, and I just could not get into it. It's so slow. And I know a lot of people would judge me for that, but I, I just couldn't get into it. I'm getting shot in the back or something. What? Oh shit, he almost, he almost killed me. Yeah, I, I don't know if I finished the first season or not. I, I probably didn't. It also doesn't help that a lot of times whenever I play games, I, I'll just kind of leave them playing in the background while, while I'm doing a video game. Like, I'll, I'll play um, TV shows. So I, I don't, like, fully give them my attention. And unless it's something that's super interesting, I'm just not going to be interested in it. What? Where? There's a guy over here, I thought. He just runs away because he's on fire. This gun's nasty. D WDM, what's that? Yeah, what is WDM? They're saying there's still enemies near me. It's saying that there's something below me. And there's a guy over here around the corner. Is he maybe in the... No, they say he's below me. How do I get down there? 
Maybe it's bugs? Here, I'll, I'll follow this because it wants me to go a very specific route to get there. Oh, okay. Here we go. Holy shit. How am I not dead from that? I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I watched The Mandalorian. I'll watch anything that uh, John Favreau does. The man's a genius. Although, uh, people are not going to like me for saying it, because it's a very unpopular opinion. I'm not really fond of the whole Baby Yoda thing, Grogu. I feel like it was only put in just for, for kids to get interested in the show. Yeah, um... He's done a lot all around for like various franchises. Percy uh, is like Percy Jackson. I'll have to check them out. And obviously, like, Dragon Ball. Um, like, I watched uh, a lot of, uh, was it Ruini Kenshin when I was younger, and uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, watched a lot of shows like that when I was younger, but that was mostly because that's what was on, like, Adult Swim at the time. Just gonna get rid of some shit in my bags. I think there's anything I actually, uh, that I want to put in there. Second. Yeah, John Favreau definitely did uh, save Star Wars all around. I was so disappointed in the the new movies. Did I really just fucking do that? What are these goggles to Johnny's aviators? I have his chess piece too. It's really dumb because um, when you upgrade the different items for him, it, you, just, you keep the other ones, which I don't like because they're quest items. say new maybe new attachments I don't know um, skip time I do like how flawless that is um, that and whenever you're like you're not closed you're open clubs closed Gonna cut in front of the line here, buddy. Mm. Look at that guy. Go Here's Liam. Liam no Northam. Know where I can find him? 
No, you can fuck off, Merc. I ain't talking. Damn, what a shithead. This guy looks cool. You can't. I've already tried killing that guy multiple times. It wouldn't even let me point my gun at him. But I have tried. Watch it. mm. It's acting like I can talk to. Oh, because hey, never mind. Champagne to the, the bartenders. Okay, just let me get three there. Check. Find proof of Liam's betrayal. How? Oye, despacio! Busy night, huh? Real busy. Yeah. Looking to spill your sorrows? This ain't the time. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here that I want. Oops. Looking for Liam. Liam Northam. Ah, <sighs> that one. Fuck. Can't stand that gunk. Bad tipper. Uh-huh. Plus, he's a jackass. Output's even worse. Output, huh? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, where's he at? You know I can't tell you that. I don't want to be mean, and I don't mind paying. It's important. Sure it is. You don't look like someone gets caught up in bullshit, but I, I can't. Seriously, sorry. Like, I, I don't want to be an asshole, so I'll Look, see if I can just pay him. I'll pay. Make up for all those bad tips. In the VIP room with some new output. Ordered champagne, so it's a party. But, um, you didn't hear it from me, yeah? Sure. You hire what? No, but I could be. the elevator or do I just go down? I assume I can open these? Yeah. Damn, that bitch is strong. Do anything here? What is this? I assume I'm probably gonna go through it. There is like a back door to leave. I think that's the one thing that this game does best is it allows you to take a lot of different routes. It doesn't pigeonhole you into certain ones. Cause I don't want to go up the elevator. I want to go over here. Oh th yeah, this is just a back door. Dumpster. So yeah, if I didn't want to go through the main entrance, I could have gone through the back door, I guess. Right. Let's see what's here. Um, honestly, I, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, it'll be pretty intermittent. I'm not going to have a schedule starting out, but I'll, I'll try to put a post up, like, at least a day or two beforehand if I do plan on streaming. Like, I do, uh, yesterday and today, I do plan on streaming Sunday um, for my birthday, and then I have Monday and Tuesday off, so I'll probably stream one of those two days, maybe both. And then normally I have Thursday, Fridays off every week, so if I do, those will probably be the days that I stream, um... I might do it on a, a work day, but if I do, it's only going to be for an hour or two.
Oh, this is the room I was in before. What the hell? Check the security computer. So that's where I am, that's... What? I didn't see a security computer here. Oh, maybe that was in the other room that I saw here? Maybe this was the security computer? That doesn't give me any information. Yeah, that did nothing for me. I guess I'll go up this side. Okay, so that is the right way. But yeah, um, I'll, I'll just play through. Like, I'm almost done with Cyberpunk. I actually am on the last mission for Cyberpunk, which is this one here. Uh, but I'm trying to do all the side shit before I do that mission, because I don't know if I can go back and finish them. And there really isn't that much left. Um, I, I guess there technically is. If you look at the map, there's a shitload of side stuff on here. But I can knock all that out in like two days. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Uh, you ordered champagne? Yes, and we'd like to enjoy it in peace. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, system said the order was still open. I couldn't give Thanks. two fucks about your system. Get out! Like, I, even whenever people are in, I, I've always had kind of the, I guess the mindset of, of just kind of like speaking my thoughts. Out. Dude, I'm gonna, gonna shoot this guy in the security. face if he keeps his shit up. Oh, fuck. fuck. You heard what I just heard, No right? privacy. Uh-huh. So I've always kind of had that mentality, and it, it works out well. Just, like, kind of speaking what you're thinking when you're playing games. But even then, I I, I don't know. I, I think that a lot of streamers kind of let it get through their head, and they just play their games, or they, they don't pay attention to chat, and... That's part of the, the fun of it is having a conversation. And even if it's not about my, my health condition and stuff like that, I don't mind talking. I'm pretty open to begin with. I'm going to go in here anyway. Oh, it won't life. let me. Don't know. I mean, he's up to something, no doubt. But that back there, that was about something else. Yeah, minor deeds. Either way, she better keep away from him. She might not take you at your word. Uh huh. That's why I got to collect the security cam footage. Awesome, Risu civilian. So, uh, and like, honestly, I understand that to some extent. Um, let me see. It should be under here. Because I've actually been mo uh, like a moderator in some of the uh, the larger streams. It's weird because it's not letting me change the mission here. Okay. Check the camera's link to the computer. Remote takeover. Like. I guess the two bigger ones was of uh, like dat mods or whatever. He was a, a Diablo three streamer. I was a mod in his chat and then also in ninjas because I've I've known Ninja for quite a while. But he's kind of like full of himself these days, so I don't really talk to him anymore. Yeah, that would be me. Am I supposed to call? Who does it say? Lizzie? Hello? V? What's up? 
Got some intel on Liam. And? Is it what I thought? And it looks that way. Caught him in the VIP room with some chick. Ordered champagne. And? What do they talk about? Can't say. Don't think they talked for long, though. Yeah. Mm, well, I mean... Much, but... When I played with him the most, it was mostly in Halo. Like, Halo Reach days. But uh, H1Z1, he had a blast in that game. I, I played so much H1Z1. In fact, does it tell me how many hours I put into that fucking game on here? I know they switched it from... 1,800 hours is what I put into H1. Which was a lot. And I don't know if that reset whenever they switched it to Z1 Battle Royale. or Because like, before it was, it was called H1Z1. It's enough. Hmm. Am I done here? Yeah, I'm done here. It says that there's a fixer here that, that needs stuff, but if I remember right, that's Regina and she doesn't ever like allow me to do anything new. Or maybe that's why it's there, because she wanted me to do all the um the cyber psycho things. This fixer has something for me. There should be a, yeah, a teleport thing here. Okay, I can kill this guy and that guy. Let's get the car up here. Oh, cops in the car. Will you? I like how this person just doesn't give a shit. Just murdered two people in front of them and she just doesn't care. Yeah, it, it, see, that's that's the thing that I, I hated. Um, like, Fortnite really changed who he, he was to people. And I, I just don't like that. I don't like when people change because they feel like they have to for their audience. Now he's kind of backed more towards, uh, like, the person that he used to be. Just because he realized he doesn't have to, like, be kid-friendly all the time. This rain looks cool. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I really don't like watching Warzone. I don't know why, it's, it's just not entertaining. I think it's because it's so fast-paced. Oh, shit. I'm running away from this, and I should have been going to the Ripper Dock. You see, I wanted to pull this up real quick. I don't even bother looting green weapons anymore. The only reason why I go for blues is because they can be iconic. H1Z1, even though it was super fast paced, it just, I don't know, maybe it was just the hype of the streamers, but it was super entertaining to watch them play. It was just one of those games that had something special and then the developers had to change it way too fucking much. Oh shit. He dodged like all my shots. Did I just throw a car? Oh, 
Oh, I, again, I keep following the yellow line, and I should be following the white line. Yeah, I remember the the king. Uh, you said you don't like King of the Kill, right? Or no? Or, or was that a? Are you talking about like the the variant of um, H one Z one that was King of the Hill? Or oh no, I, I I don't remember that at all. What the fuck do I get here? Okay, here it is. Congrats, I guess. You? You were great. Get all that shit I said to you. Eddie's will hit your pocket soon. And should I mention there'll be a bonus? Enjoy! This lady's psychotic. Llegaste hace poco? You gonna talk to me? Hmm? Oh, that's not the Ripper Doc. Uh, let's see. Is there anything new I can buy here? Why am I using the tattoo instead of that? Yeah, there's nothing new here. I guess I could check and see. Metal plating, I already have that. My year hasn't been too bad. Um, pretty uneventful, so to be honest. Just what? Got an infection? Maybe what about a moment's you? Reflection. No, no, I've already come to terms. I was more curious if you ever inked anything. Found out the company I work for is bought out by oh, IBM, well. so that's really the only this one thing guy that who happened. wanted fuck night and that's corp. not really me that's All caps, the company I work for forehead front and center cool disgruntled ex corpo a suit at city hall uh, this so is the dude that tattooed me whenever I was playing as Johnny while. seen worse How's your year been? Hopefully better than 2020, because that was a rough fucking year. Like, it, it seemed like... God, man, from... June, July, August, and September. Like, I, whether I was sick or... Just had screwed up things going on whenever uh, it comes to hell stuff. Like, I, I had kidney stones. Um, I had a really bad, uh, like, sinus infection. And then I, I woke up with a leg cramp in both my legs one night, and I, I went to stretch it out, and I tore two muscles in my left leg, all within like a, a two month period. Let me get in before the cops come. Are you like yeah? What, what grade are you in in school?
Oh, nice. Almost done. Unless you want to go to college. Do, do you plan on going to college? And if so, like, what, what are you looking to go for? I need to craft some uh, ammo. I'm almost out. This one? These days, honestly, you really don't even have to go to college. It's not that important. I wonder if I can learn something new if I just level crafting a bit more. What's the cheapest thing to make? I'll just make, like, a few of these. Wanted to be a doctor? <laughs> what, what kind of doctor? Like, do you know what kind? Of, like, if you want to be like family medicine Hi, or there. something else? Hi! Hi! You there! Mysterious stranger! You who? Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Sure, be my What guess. the hell? What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? The hypocritical oath. Hypocritical instead of hi um, hi Hippocratic. Okay, what's going on? Hey there, stranger. I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? Uh. My name's V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Come on. Uh, I'm gonna often, lie. As a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? Um, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Because you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? This is amazing. Okay, you've got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brendan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Do you know any jokes? Who's always limbo champion at mercenary cookouts? Solo. Whoa. So did you want something from me? Yeah, I honestly thought oh, about yes. going for um well, a couple I different things. For taking advantage oh, of I guess I'll finish this mission and I'll talk about friendship. it. But could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street. Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude, even though technically I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. My never ending gratitude, even though I don't stock Thank that. You, That's great. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage on me. This whole nice act of yours is just way too much. That's just how I was programmed. You think anybody'd interact with a grumpy, spontaneous craving satisfaction machine? Exactly. Would you even be able to offend me? Ooh, come on, Sam a whore. Sam a whore. Why would I want to do that? You just saved me. You can do it. I believe in you. <clears throat> you. 
You're an amazing, sweet, wholesome woman who accepts Eddie's in exchange for intercourse. So, how'd I do? <laughs> almost. You almost had it. Catch you later. Buddy. That's actually one of my Catch favorite me. missions now. That's fucking Why? great. Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean... I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... Yeah, I, I mean, oh, well, it, it depends on what you want out of life. Um, I mean, I've, I've had Catch a really, later, really me. fucking terrible life. So <laughs> it's... Phrase. I don't know. For me, I, I, I would absolutely say yes, it does. It just depends on, on what you want and what you make of it. So, like, for me, like I've, I've been through hell. Um, I would say... Before I was even 12, 12 years old, I probably lived in like 15 to 20 homeless shelters. Just really, really rough childhood, super poor. Um, just all around, just childhood was pretty terrible. And yeah, that sucked. And then even as like a, an adult in my 20s, I was homeless for quite a while in Carson City. And it just, it, it sucks. Like life can be shit, but it just depends. Depends on whether or not you want to surround yourself with people that are gonna kind of bring you up, or whether or not you want to put the time in to improve your life. But yeah, when it goes to like the medical shit, I I have since I was diagnosed and everything, I've seriously considered going back to school and uh, going for endocrinology, just because there's so few doctors that have even heard of my condition. I think it would be nice to have a doctor that actually is like familiar with it, and that would help you know other people trying trying to get help. Because it's, it's so difficult to go to a doctor and you know more than they do on the topic. And then I also was seriously um, thinking about anesthesiology when I was a kid. But, uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm working in IT. I make an okay living. So I don't know if I'll ever go back to school because there's really no perk to me doing it at this point other than just a pile of debt. I'm better off just getting different kinds of certifications, even though I've been lazy with it so far. I know there was, yeah, there's another mission here with Judy. I guess I can go to this Ripper dock too. Let's go here, because I know, I know this is where the other Ripper dock was that I, this guy was a real scumbag. He was like uh, taking women and, and putting bad body parts in them, and their like body parts would rot off, and he would just like laugh it off like he did nothing wrong. I could talk to a, a guy or a girl and uh, go have sex with them. School does suck um, for a lot of reasons, and honestly, um, it was really difficult for me. Like I, I had a lot of problems with school growing up, and not not that I was bad at it. I was actually extremely good in school, but my biggest issues was being bullied, like extremely heavily bullied um, in middle school and high school. Like even on, in elementary school, it was really bad, uh, mostly because I lived in like a primary, uh, a primarily Hispanic area, you want trouble? and I lived in Stockton, California, in San Diego, for the most part when I was younger. And in those areas, it just really sucked for a little white kid because you got picked on all the time. There's nothing you could do. So I, I got beat up a lot whenever I was in elementary school. Hey, finally. Hell yeah. Yes. Excuse me. Your style. See, so you have a flair for the... All handpicked. It do well. Oh, no. My chrome could... Here. This is what I was looking for. So you reduce fall damage by 15%. Hold while in midair to activate thrusters. You can control the direction. Allows you to move and run more quietly. The sound of your footsteps will not carry as far. I wonder if you had any other upgrades in here that were worth a damn. But yeah, I, I got bullied a lot whenever I was in school and it, it was not easy.
Hmm. Cool. Wow, what? The cooldown is only 15 seconds on that? So I don't get the crit chance for a minute. But I do get the damage increase. Oh no, I do get the crit chance. And it has three sockets. So why would I... Why would I use that over this? I'll use this one instead. Oh shit, he's got a bunch of stuff here. Requires a ton of cool though. Immunity to poison. Buy all these. It's not easy, that's for sure. Bullies are fucking pricks. Just know that, like, if you are being bullied, it's it's mostly the shit that they do, and it, that does end. Like, after leaving high school, I didn't really have to deal with bullying so much. Like, you still deal deal with it online because people were just relentless, but. Just try not to let it get to you because, honestly, it doesn't matter. In the end, like, whatever they think about you, it, it really just doesn't matter at all. Uh, let's see. I don't know if this gives me a double jump or not, so that's what I want to see. Because I don't want to lose my double jump. Huh, interesting. So... So, let's see. You can do one jump. Damn, that's a big jump. You just kind of hover in air for a little bit. I think I prefer my double jump. That's a regular jump, and then you, you press and hold it, and you jump double the height. It's like a power jump. Yes! What is it? Chrome could use. At least I've unlocked them so I can install them in other locations. I mean, I'm a prime example of that. People bring up my past all the damn time. Good, bad, whatever. And, and honestly, like, I was a pretty shitty person when I, when I was growing up. I, I was not very friendly at all. Um, very abrasive, hard to talk to. But, like, none of that really matters. Even if people bring it up, like, just ignore them. What is this? What's this Ripper Doc have? Let me see. I try and I try. Wait, what? Hello. What kind of? Wait, this person sells sex toys. Yeah, it's it's playable. Um, it depends on the system that you have. I, I don't recommend playing it on consoles, like especially last gen consoles. But if you have a decent computer, um, the game runs fine. Like it, it has really low frame rate. Um, even now, like I'm running it on a 2080 Ti, and it still like runs like shit. You can't see the frame rate because I'm not running it through Steam. I run it through good old games. But on average, I get around 100 FPS. But there's times where it'll drop to like 35, 40 FPS at times. Especially if I turned RTX on. 
and I play um, like mostly on like medium to high settings. But with a 2080 Ti, I feel like I should be able to play this game at higher settings and be fine. I know that there is a lot of like um, fan made mods that improve the the performance of the game too. But bug wise, um, the only bug that I really have ran into you consistently, it's a um, like a damage mod. So I'll I'll stand. On, wow, I just realized this is a sex shop. <laughs> I literally walked into a fucking sex shop and didn't realize what it was. What the hell? How are the ladies? Non-existent, just because, uh... I, I kind of put off dating for a while, to be honest. And the, the main reason why I did is because I didn't like where I was at, at life, or like in life. Um, had a decent amount of debt just for medical and stuff like that. And then also um, just had a lot of like mental issues and health issues that I wanted to get sorted out first. So I haven't really been looking to date. Um, I mean, lately I have been, but with COVID, it's kind of limits it. Because you can't really go out and meet people. You're stuck to like talking to people on apps and shit. And it's not really my style. I'd much rather actually get to know people. What is this? Panties? Okay. But yeah, overall, the game's pretty playable now. Man, I may as well buy that, right? Wait, was there more arm mods I can buy? No, I already have them all. Mantis Blade attack speed by 45%. It's pretty huge. Yeah, honestly, COVID's really fucked with people in that way. Um, especially if you're you're not, like, if, if you're somebody who's super social to begin with, it's really, really difficult to, uh, let me see. Okay, so I was just reading something else. Um it's really difficult. Like for me, I've, I've always kind of been a hermit. So I, I just kind of mind my own business anyway. And it doesn't bother me that much to stay indoors. Um, but for people that are super social, ex especially students um, that are used to being around their friends in school and everything, it's really difficult for them. And in the beginning, I, I kind of laughed at them. It's like, okay, whatever. It's not that fucking bad. Um, you, you guys can still talk to your friends. You can play video games and, and kind of keep in touch. But it sucks if... You know, you're a kid that was kind of a loner and you're picked on a lot in school. So you just didn't really have any friends, you know? Like, in those situations, it's, it, it sucks. Because there's nothing you can do. You're stuck at home, at home alone by yourself all the time. You've got nobody to talk to. And there's only so much you can do while at home. You are... You mean hmm. got something that'll keep you wet for hours. Wow, okay. Oh, back to the sex shop. Oh, this is Wakaka. Hello. Wakako. You wanted to talk? No. I'll go back to, to Judy, the best NPC in the game. Yeah, um, luckily for me, my, my cousin lives next door. And even though, like, there, there'll be times where I won't even talk to him for, like, a week. Like, I'll still text him and shit like that. But he lives next door. So if I really want to get out and talk to somebody, he doesn't leave the house. He doesn't, you know, I mean, he leaves more than me, but he doesn't, like, go out all the time. So at least we can kind of talk to each other. Um, 
But overall, like, it's, you know, wake up, go to work, play video games, go to sleep. What? Is somebody trying to attack me? What was that? What the hell is this guy's problem? He tried to kill me, like, right away. These crosshairs are so weird. I like them because, to me, like good crosshairs, the way that they work is they can't be obtrusive on the screen. They they can't block out other things. So this one's fine, but on areas like um, like during the day when you're in like the badlands and shit like that, it's pretty difficult to use the crosshairs because the sun's so bright you can't see anything, especially if you have RTX on. And then uh, I guess let's check the other ones. Like these ones aren't too bad, but. Crossers like these drive me insane. I'm actually going to get rid of them. This is a bug, by the way. Um, it doesn't let you get rid of some of the, the crosshairs here. I guess I'll, I'll throw these on and show it to you real quick. Like this, I don't like crosshairs like that, because that whole section in the middle of the screen where it's green, you can't see shit. If there's an enemy there, you can't see them. So I don't like those type of crosshairs. Like even this one, th this is a little bit better, but it still kind of blocks off part of the screen. Yeah, I know, right? That, that sex shop was crazy. remember which one that these crosshairs were. Yeah, these ones aren't too bad. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll play with these crosshairs for a minute. There's a gun shop around here somewhere. Oh, I guess it's at the other entrance. I almost jumped down. So this is like such a dumb thing for me to get annoyed with. The fact that I can shoot a Coke can and it doesn't knock the can off drives me insane. What? It actually wants me to climb up? This is crazy. How the fuck did Judy get up here? That's one thing that threw me off guard with this game, like how often that you'll just be walking around and there'll be like a sex ad playing in the background. Baby, thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. V, get it together. Oh, it's responding to a text. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. Judy's amazing. Some deeds about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No, leave the talking to me. What's up with you? How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth about Evelyn, what happened and why. Her you accent kind of threw me off in the beginning. I didn't like her voice, but she no. grew on me a lot. Have to improvise from there. So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. I'm ready. Let's go. 
They actually did a really good job with, with her design, though. She's one of the few characters where they, they like, really went out, like, all out on her, like, facial expressions and stuff like that. What the hell? Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Hey, one second. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties. Yep, but I even know why. I just grabbed a snack. <laughs> and some water. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mob. I can grab that, right? You managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never failed to lower my expectations. First, you settle for the mocks, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean yo. Just two seconds from getting shot in the fucking face. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Are those urns? Judy has a proposal about clouds. Want to come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Come from the sea? Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. I never really looked at her tattoos. I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, Care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. Called me a murderer. You're right. I killed Woodman. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. And if I had known what he did to Evelyn when she needed help, I wouldn't have gone so easy on him. He has a piece of shit. I like that art piece. Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. I'm gonna shoot this bitch in the face if I can. You picked the wrong side, Michael. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, I love Left 4 Dead. I haven't played it in forever, but it's a good game. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. 
Dude, I am gonna fuck this bitch up. Can I take my gun out? So I can leave this way. Or I can stay. Can I just stay and wait for the security to come and kill them? Because I want to shoot this bitch in the face. From Judy. Dude, fuck this bitch. She's so rude. I'm not gonna finish reading that. That's the point. Wait, was there any files on here? There was. Judy. Wait, can I delete that file? She totally blew us off. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna delete it. She doesn't deserve Judy. Crowley needs some time to think. A couple days, tops. And you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. I don't know who I like better, uh, Pan Am or, or Judy. Because I haven't really done a whole lot of Pan Am missions, so I guess probably at this point it's, it's Judy that I like more. She's not the athletic as hell. Like, I... I kind of struggle to get up here, and I'm all robotic and shit, and able to double jump. Can I leap a faith off this bitch? You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. So was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy. I wouldn't mind going back and playing Left 4 Dead. I know. Right there with you, I... It's just a fun game well, overall. Used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> just think. Could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding, do you? When Left 4 Dead came out or when Cyberpunk came out? Actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding. Not exactly. I've got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, Seems like and a, um, with cocktail umbrella. A hobo version of uh, Johnny. No. Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now.
Hold on. You take the blow up doll. It's a great game. Um, people like to slam it, but honestly, overall, it's, it's pretty solid. Like, I've got some issues with it, mostly with the AI. I'm not fond of how dumb the AI is for, like, so, um, like civilians or pedestrians. Hey, Where the fuck the is Johnny? I heard Johnny. Blame the corpse all you want, but at the end of the day, this is more about us than them. Biz is biz and tits are biz. It's like junk food. People don't buy. Biz or, or, sorry, biz is biz and tits are biz. I'll have to remember that. They overdid themselves with the art style, though. Okay. What's this guy's problem? Like, he goes hostile to me every single time. Oh, she's like looking down all sad. I guess maybe she's looking down to see where she's walking, though. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. Okay, let's see. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm all... I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm interested to see what they do with this game. Um, like six months, a year, even two years down the road. Because if you look at Witcher 3, it, it like it was decent when it came out. Like I, I didn't play it in the beginning. I, I only played it recently. But... As a whole, now that all the expansions and everything are out for it, any kind of bugs that were in the game are, are mostly worked out. Um, that game is a masterpiece. And I feel like this one could be. If they improve the AI, especially when it comes to vehicles and, and the way that you don't really see anyone on the road, really. You definitely don't see anyone driving motorcycles. But once they improve that and they kind of work out some of the major bugs, this could be a phenomenal game, especially so on PC. Specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes. I'm probably going to head out here the dirt. in like 18 minutes. This will be 11 p.m. for me and I've got work at 7 a.m. So, what now? You gotta think. At least my headache seems like it's subsided. Need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. She just walked through me. Yeah, so like things like that drive me nuts. Like you should not be able to walk through a fucking character. Like this should not happen. Let's see. But yeah, the, the people driving cars drive me nuts because in GTA, if I parked in front of a car like this, they, they would try to go around me, they would honk at me, they'd get out of their car and try to attack me. And I, don't get me wrong, I know this is not GTA. I know that they had different goals in mind making this game. But when you have GTA existing in the same timeline as this stuff, it, it's so hard not to compare the two. Because in a lot of ways, they do feel similar. Wanna 
that my net runners is unresponsive, in spite of clear orders to remain in direct contact with me. What Something must have happened. He would not dare go against me. Familiarize yourself with the brief and proceed swiftly. I need him. So this is another bug that drives me insane. I can't loot this. And that was kind of an issue in Witcher 3 too. There was times where um, there was items that you just could not loot under any circumstance. Downstairs. Oh, shit. save here and I'm only saving because I don't want to like accidentally die do you watch what I don't see what what you're talking about because on my end it just shows two squares twenty strength to open that holy shit I'm not sure what you mean by that. Look, V, it's you in the near future. Every net runner ends up the same way. Brain fried by some corporal of ice. Looks like he's still bleeding. Oh, ha! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. I guess that was a, a perk to uh, not really having hormones as like a, a teen and stuff like that. Like, I'm not like some crazy sex fanatic. Follow the lights. I can't go in there. It's so dark. I mean, dude, to each their own. Um, like, I'm not gonna knock somebody for it. Cause it's it's not like I I, I don't think that porn in general is bad. I think that. People's habits with porn is bad. And overusing it, um, I would say the biggest issue is that people have their you know, like, kind of crazy fantasies and shit like that. But 
they, they like desensitize themselves to everything else in the world. And same, same thing goes for like anything in the news. What the fuck am I doing? Did I come back up the way I came? I think I did. Oh, I came back here. But I think that's that's an issue is that people desensitize um, themselves to everything, and then they have like false expectations um, with like sex lives and stuff like that. I can see you're not. Mm. Two seconds. Wait, I, I can't. Wake up. Give me one moment. I don't know how long I'm here, but as you Americans say, I'm starving. Let's see. You're in luck. There's a restaurant upstairs. I know. The whole time. Those aromas. What torture. So you were conscious? Partially. More like in deep hibernation. Had a peek at your messages. Looks like this spectral kid was right, huh? Hmm. I get stuck after all. Uh, when he find out, he'll become completely insufferable. That way you didn't ask him for help? Case of a fragile ego. No. But because I was trapped in the subnet, the lights were as far as I could go. Any idea what's in the Corpo code case? You young people ask too many questions. See for yourself. Maybe it's not such a good idea after all. Ha! Ah, you're a fast learner. So, you're probably wondering who sent me. Wakako. She always find an excuse to drag me to her place for dinner. Mm -hmm. You must visit me someday. I'll show you a few net running tricks. Wasn't it me who just saved your ass? We never stop learning hard lessons. But you don't have this to guy do does not look like he's 65 years old. Thanks, I'll think about it. Chang Hoon Nam. Crime and punishment in zombies. Bushido 9, obsessed to kill. Wait, dressed to kill. Shido 5. A couple fixer posters. It's it's things like this though that I love. Because you're not gonna see these normally in, in every area. Some games they would just plaster the same shit in every location. And this game doesn't do that. Which I really respect. I was informed of how you handled yourself. Good work. I expected nothing um, less from you. That's a, that's a very good question. So that whole process was interesting for me. Um, I actually emailed Ellen and a couple other shows as well around the same time. And just so happened that the doctors reached out to me very quickly. Um, I think it was like five or six days after I emailed them. Um, probably because I, I submitted so much extra information to them. But... Uh, when they first talked to me, they, they gave me the option to, to like be anonymous. Um, they had like a, a privacy screen so that you can just see like a facade of me. It was just like a, a shadowy version of me. Um, they, they said I could use that and they can like distort my voice if I just don't want to be like super embarrassed on the show. But the thing is, is like mentally, I was really fucked up back then. Um, I had a lot of issues with anxiety and depression and just everything else. And I wanted people to see that. To, so that they knew that it wasn't just some like invisible condition and that I wasn't making things up. So I decided to, to just be transparent about everything. And the one thing that I, I do kind of regret is that they kind of had their own questions ready and tailored for me whenever I did the interview process. I was super tired. So some of the questions I, I just didn't answer 
I wouldn't say truthfully, but I didn't expand on them as much as I would have liked to. Um, cause I, when I had went on that show, I'd actually been married already, um, for several years and had, had gotten a divorce and that was never brought up on the show. They, like p- people just assumed that I had been single and never dated or anything like that. And that wasn't the case for things like that. It just, it was never brought up. Oh. I think they want me to go up. But overall, like if I had the choice to do it again, I would absolutely do it again. Combat. I guess there's still an enemy here somewhere. I, I mean, I don't mind doing it. Um, honestly, I, I might just make a uh, a post on on like the community page on here. And just let people ask questions on it. I might may just do something on Reddit. I, I'm not really sure. Because I, I obviously did the AMA before and people did ask a lot of questions then. But they, they still have a bunch of new questions. So I don't I don't mind people asking. Because Because it was one tough fucking joint. One wrong word, one sideways glance, and you'd get steel between the ribs. Yeah, I, I don't mind people asking questions. The, the only time that I have issues with it is if people are super, super vague. I would rather people be very direct and just ask me um, very direct questions. It's, it's whenever people ask not necessarily stupid questions, but just the ones that are vague that drive me nuts. So, a, a good example is like... I, I guess people will try not to be rude, so they'll say something like, Did you hit it? And it's like, well, what do you mean? Like, I assume they mean puberty, but you don't hit puberty. It's a process that you go through. So it's like, are they asking what, what changes have I seen? Things like that. Like, I would much rather than be very direct and say, Hey, what kind of changes did you go through? Because that's much easier to answer. What's this guy doing? But yeah, as long as people are asking direct questions, I don't have an issue with it. Find the wire head. And to think so many people died for this tiny little shit speck. It's not the size that counts. What? Both you and I know no one actually believes that. It was like, I, oh, I think I can just op- open and close the door. I was trying to figure out what was triggering the, uh, the text dialogue there, but it was just the door. It's fun, but it is very weird. It's very different than any, any other game out there, that's for sure. Oh, hey, here we go. I'll actually probably make one of those right now. I like the crush of shotguns. Hmm. 
What's up, Tofu? You came like right as I'm ready to hop off. Yeah, it's got some hit fan, or Hitman vibes too, for sure. I haven't played the new one. I, I actually do want to give that a chance. It's a nasty shotgun. It's trying to tell me how to get out of here. And... Oh, okay. That's why I went the wrong way. How you doing, to uh, Tofu? You got a problem? These guys are all hiding because they heard me shooting underneath. You know, actually, this is something I do like about this game. The, uh, the first-person view in the vehicles are insane. Like, super detailed interiors. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I'll save the end of, end of the game. I'm not going to do that. I'm just doing side missions if I play off stream. But you take it easy. Like I said, I'm going to head out here. I don't, I don't know if Tofu wanted to talk at all before I head out, but if they do, then I, I can chill for a few minutes. You take it easy. I'll, like I said, if you want to talk on uh, Sunday, I'll, I'll be around. Thanks for stopping by, though. Later. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off. You guys take it easy.